Out of all the legendaries that have ever existed, there is one that sits above the rest, solidifying itself as the most powerful Pokemon ever created. And that Pokemon is none other than Lord Bidoof. I'm just playing. It's actually Mega Rayquaza. And in this video, I'm going to explain why it will probably break Pokemon Go upon release. But first, we need to talk about Mega Evolution. Introduced in the main series games Pokemon X and Y, Mega Evolution allows certain Pokemon to unleash their hidden power and temporarily transform into even more formidable versions of themselves. This allowed less powerful Pokemon like Kangaskhan and Bayonet to be stronger and more powerful Pokemon like Mewtwo to be broken. I mean seriously, what the hell are these stats? But it wasn't nearly as broken as what was still about to come in the world of Pokemon. The introduction of Mega Evolutions for Groudon, Kyogre and Rayquaza came with the release of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire the following year. Groudon and Kyogre underwent primal reversion, while Rayquaza attained its Mega Form, giving birth to Mega Rayquaza in the world of Pokemon. But now, let us fast forward on to 2023 where Mega Rayquaza will finally make its debut in Pokemon Go, a game where the rules are a bit different. Mega Stones are replaced by Mega Energy. Pokemon cannot hold items. Abilities don't even exist in the game. So you can kiss Delta Stream goodbye. It looks like Mega Rayquaza won't be good at all in Pokemon Go, right? Wrong. Because here are three reasons why Mega Rayquaza would still be an unstoppable force in Pokemon Go. It came as no surprise to anyone that Rayquaza would be a top tier Pokemon when it was first released in Pokemon Go back in 2018. With a great attack stat of 284, it was bound to be a top attacker in raids. At level 50, it has a max stat total of 4336 CP, with Dragon Tail and Outrage being its strongest moveset. It sat comfortably as the strongest Dragon type until the release of Shadow Pokemon in 2019 and Mega Pokemon in 2020. But when Rayquaza finally ascends into its Mega form, things will change. In the main series games, it has extraordinary base stats, notably its sky high attack and special attack. This combined with its other stats leads to a massive stat total of... When we translate those stats to Pokemon Go, we get an attack of 389, defense of 216, stamina of 233, and an astonishing total stat of 6827 CP at level 50. These incredible stats puts Mega Rayquaza as the number 3 best overall raid attacker in Pokemon Go. At this point you may be wondering as to who is number 2 and number 1. Well, I'll get to that later in this video. However, stats alone don't make a Pokemon strong. For that, you would also need an incredibly devastating moveset. Rayquaza is no stranger to having a diverse move pool in its arsenal, notably Outrage, Hurricane, Energy Ball, Surf, Thunderbolt and Flamethrower. But its signature move Dragon Ascent is what makes Rayquaza truly special. In the main series games, teaching Rayquaza Dragon Ascent is how it evolves into Mega Rayquaza. And that seems to be the case in Pokemon Go as well. Dragon Ascent is a monstrously powerful move and is similar in power to Precipice Blades which is Groudon's signature move. And when Precipice Blades was introduced in Pokemon Go, it became a 130 base power move for both PvP and PvE battles. This means that Dragon Ascent is going to be just as powerful. Now you can probably guess who sits at number 2 and number 1 spots for top raid attackers. That's right, it was Mega Rayquaza all along with Dragon Ascent. Take that Salamence! Well, at least Salamence isn't sh with its immense power and versatile moveset, Mega Rayquaza would undoubtedly shatter the existing PvP metagame in Pokemon Go. Except it wouldn't. Wait, what? 
Cause Mega Pokemon are currently banned in PvP. God damn it, that's not fair. Do not fear because regular Rayquaza is still a big threat. In the Master League, Rayquaza currently sits at the number 12th spot with Dragon Tail, Breaking Swipe and Hurricane as its primary moveset. So when Rayquaza ultimately learns Dragon Ascent, it will undoubtedly become one of the strongest attackers in the Master League. Or at least that's what I think. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below.